Taught in episodes, ballot snatching, manipulation, conspiracy by the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC, and its un- and its unaccountable henchmen, mutilation and dissemination of votes by both the ruling party, All Progressives Congress (APC), and the People's Democratic Party (PDP) in some locations on February twenty fifth presidential polls. <laughs> an unresolved puzzle to all on whether Nigeria is an electoral democracy or a hybrid competitive electoral autocracy. In states like Lagos, Rivers, Plateau, Benue, Crush River, Aquaibom, Bayelsa, Emo, Gombe, Ekiti, and others. The presidential votes announced by the INEC were a far cry from reality. After voting in the presidential polls, INEC deliberately not shut down beavers and IRFs, creating an atmosphere for worries. How will beavers and IRF fail to function in the electronic transmission of presidential elections? but transmit smoothly and electronically with the Senate and Houses of Representatives that held simultaneously? Is it electoral democracy or a grab snatch run with a type of democracy? Do the hist acts orchestrated on Saturday, 25th February 2023 meet the requisite minimalistic definition of what constitutes a democracy? Some few minutes to 12. Even when they came, they were very disorganized. Very disorganized because even the beavers, the beavers wasn't working. Because what ha- actually happened, the agent, one of the agents, asked them to show them the region of the beavers to make sure that it started with. They programmed it. When they entered, the, when they started accreditation, the beavers wasn't working again. I don't know whether it was tempered or what, because of they reprogrammed it again. He said they have to get somebody from their office to reprogram the uh, beavers. That's why they started by this time. But they, but they didn't come here till around to, to, to 12. The Supreme Court on Friday complained that opposition parties are deploying social media to terrorize the apex court and its justices, particularly over cases relating to the 2023 general elections, this was contained in the judgment of the court in the suit filed by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, seeking the disqualification of President-elect Bola 
and the vice president elect Kashim Shertima from the last election. Before dismissing PDP's appeal regarding the double nomination case against Mr. Shertima, Justice Adamo Jaru, who delivered the lead judgment on the suit, described the use of social media by the appellants to terrorize and bully the justices of the Supreme Court as appalling and unprofessional. Using the social media to terrorize and bully the justices of the Supreme Court. Uh, irrespective of the unlawfulness of what uh, APC did, we are not members of APC and we cannot challenge it. Well, this is the Supreme Court. We can't, like I told them in court, we can't appeal to God. We will stop here. We are bound by their judgment. Justice Ian Okoro wrote on his May 26th opinion, is appalling and unprofessional. The PDP, in an appeal marked, had sought Mr. Tinubu's disqualification on grounds that he's on. On grounds that his running mate was doubly nominated in violation of the Electoral Act. The party claimed that the vice president elect, Mr. Shatima, was nominated twice, both for the Borno Central Senatorial District and for the vice presidential position at the same time. Do well to like, comment, share, and subscribe to enjoy more and interesting content.